No, I'm just kidding. That's it. Pass Dang. me the rock, Steve. Mm. Guys, it is another chapter in this epic saga of Tekken World Tour. We are in Daytona Beach, Florida for CEO 2018. I'm here with my man, my brother from another mother, Mr. Tasty Steve. How's it doing, ladies and gentlemen? He already let you know how it's going down. CEO 2018, we actually have a ridiculous Tekken tournament. It is, and you know, it's going to be from start to end. You know, we're going to have our amazing tournament today. I believe there's close to, was it 400-ish players? Around that area. Here at the event, players from all over the world, and it's gonna be a banger from start to finish, from now until the end of today, until we get to our top eight, it's gonna be nonstop tech in action. We'll fill you in, of course, on the storylines and, and what's gonna be happening, but dude, I am excited. We are pretty far into this tech in the world tour, and it's already starting to shape up. We're just starting to see the stars aligning for a lot of these players. This is true, there's a lot more players coming out. I mean, yeah. just just so you guys know who we have in store for you, we do have Book, who actually made it oh, so all Oh, so we're gonna talk out. about the surprises right yeah, away? Man, we're I going straight to spoilers? I feel like we have to tell the people because it's not a lot of chances that you're going to get to see this kind of talent stateside. All right. So a lot of people might not know your your boy Book. Oh, so they don't Book, know. They don't he know. has already won a tournament during the TWT this year, and you know who he beat? He beat Ni, the current number one points ranking Bam. on the TWT. He ended up beating him at Tiger Uppercut, which was, I believe, the first Asian Challenger event yes. this year. Yeah. And he hasn't been at many tournaments since, but this is his debut here at CEO. Yes. And he's going to be competing, of course that automatically puts them into contention. Exactly, regardless, we do already have our first match set up for you guys. More surprises as we go throughout the day, but please do not go away. Tekken World Tour action is about to get started. Yeah, check it out, man. You guys see it out there. It's bright and early here. It's just, you know, just past 10 a.m., which is fairly early for a tournament. The seats may look empty, but the hearts are full, yeah. and I'm ready to rock this Tekken action. Mm -hmm. So, Steve, I gotta ask you, man. So, we talked about Book. He's one of the surprises here. The other one I want to talk about is who is widely considered probably one of the best Tekken players in the world, probably one of the best in the U.S. as well. Mr. Jimmy J. Chan is here as well. See, now, and then you Talk hit me, me with that. Talk you hit me. me with that. Now, we just saw him. I think he was in uh, Germany, yeah. but he did not win that tournament. I believe he did got that. third, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. But now, if he wants to make it to the Tekken World Tour, He's gonna it's have his first to start. Tournament. This is his first tournament. Yeah. He's gonna have to start showing up. And a lot of people expect him to do really well because he's widely considered, like you said, maybe if not the strongest American player, but definitely one of those world contention players that we talk about, especially when it comes to Tekken. A very uh a very intense game, if you like. Oh yeah, he's uh you know, he plays so well for for a tournament style player he doesn't take huge risks he plays effective enough to be able to break down and analyze and make his opponent adjust to him and that's the key and that's the the strength of jimmy j Tran. i'm sure we'll see him later on today but we are starting it off match number one here at ceo 2018 we have nina williams versus ling Zhao Yu, d town's king versus kalis let's go it's been a while since i've seen this uh, d town's king I, th I actually think it's been like since the wizard world or something like that not not just oh, say that oh early oh, we're gonna start it off that's you, actually messed up the reactions you know you haven't had your coffee yet. You're still, you know, you're still mixing it. That's actually messed up. Bro. Already in the lows. <laughs> you know, if I was him, I'd go back. I'd do wipe the floor. I'd do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, you're about, you're about, excuse me, you're about to break every throw in the world, starting off at 10 a.m. Uh-huh. Here we go. Looking to, okay. Oh, no Goes throw. for the command grab here. Oh, Goes this into dude, rage. Is a, this dude is a sleeve ball, bro. It's too early in the morning. Oh, he misses the follow-up here. Went for uh, a low jab for the pickup. Oh, oh, oh the blood bomb should be able to end it, but no. drop the combo. It was, it's the sidewall slow motion. It's the first round, Don't bro. Don't do that to us. We it's get the first part. round. I literally haven't had anything. I'm sorry, Steve. I, I don't think we'll have the energy oh, for geez. a second match here. Look, can we make this single limb? I know, right? Oh, my God. This dude is rude. Why are you doing unblockables this early? You know why? I'm telling you, because even with that mean low early off, that I'm telling you right now. I'm not used to wearing a headset without a hat on. <laughs> My, it's falling Yo, off my head. Like, this is crazy. It's sliding off. It's that silky smooth hair, bro. Oh, yeah. You know how it is. Right. But, man, you know what? I, I love this game. You know, I, I thought, you know, after a year, you know, usually when things kept, this game came out in June last year, right? Mm -hmm. Usually after that, you know, games kind of slow down. It has not slowed down. Tekken attendance for tournaments has been up year oh, over yeah. year. And, you know, just because oh, it's, it's insane. Like, well, if, if you think about it. It's like, a good-ass game. It's a good-ass game. Like, it's really hard to, it's, it's really hard to, to look at Tekken and not like be marveled at how well it's doing and how mm -hmm. far it's come. There's a lot of evolution when it comes to like the gameplay, the tournament structure, and just everything. I, now we have Tekken World Tour. Yeah. Now we have a global points ranking system, and there's a lot more on the line. And I'm honestly, man, I'm 
just honored to be a part of it because we get so much diversity when it comes to skill, characters, and players. When it comes to regions, like all of that, it, it makes a big difference out here. Dude, you said it. So when it, you said diversity, we are going all over the world here for the mm -hmm. second world tour. But another t key thing that you mentioned was characters. We have seen pretty much the entire roster on the regular. Every character is being played. Even the you know the DLC characters that some people don't like, right? They're showing up. They're everywhere. Oh. But right now, D Town's king. Uh oh. After that shaky Ooh. start, you know, doing unblockables. Oh, we got all caps there. Someone might need to get him away from the stage, man. He don't need coaching. He won that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, you're 100% right. 100% right. Um, and CEO has always been kind of that international beacon when it comes to like competition. We have players here from what does the beacon over sound the like? World. I don't know. <laughs> Rap, raptor noise. <laughs> No. I like it. I like it. We'll go with that. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the noise. <laughs> I'm down with that. Sounds good, man. It's like a Jurassic Park mating call. I'm trying. Look, man. I'm trying to get my noises up. I'm trying to scare some people when I go see Jurassic World too, man. Oh yeah. You know what? I gotta actually give a lot of love to Bandai Namco Entertainment, and the Namcops, the Tekken Project team. Uh, they're actually out here. So Michael Murray's here in yeah. attendance, checking out. You know. Uh, intermingling with the community, having a good time this weekend, but of course, you know, here to represent the company that he works for and the game that he works for, but also the rest of the Namcops from the Bandai Namco Entertainment mm -hmm. of America team are here as well. Of course, they care very much about this Tekken World Tour, and so should you. Yeah, this is definitely true. Um, on top of that, I feel like the Tekken World Tour is the only tour that's going nice down back to. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, starting it off, here we go. Okay, oh, flapping oh, butterflies. Wow. Okay. Don't go chasing waterfalls, though. I know, man. I thought, oh, 4 3 gets the counter hit. Wall, uh, 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 uh. All right, this time the mix-up went for the down four one plus two, which is a good option because that version of the move, because it does a unique spin, it will wall stun. Uh oh, wow, I confirmation. Can't oh. <laughs> okay, gets the spring kick. All right, ghost of our past, blasting that ass. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Mark, man, I'm kind of tight about these hoodies. I saw you and Logan someone wearing, like, the yellow hoodies, and I'm like, I'm not a fan of yellow, but damn, man, y'all making it look good, man. Man, I think you should rock it. You know what? I've, uh, I've started going to these events. You know, Combo Breaker had some sick apparel, and, of course, now CEO. I got to support these tournaments that I love. I mean, if I'm going to talk so much back to Jabaili, I might as well support his product. Right, right. I was actually talking to Murs about CEO because he was freaking oh, out. Oh, I saw you streaming with Murs with yeah. the hip-hop stuff with, uh, with uh, you know, Tekken was out there. A bunch yeah. of Tekken community hip -hop members were there. I said hip-hop gamer. Hip-hop DX. Hip-hop DX, uh, BET. Uh-oh. Wow, okay. We're going to get the wall. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. Still the damn Another perfect. D a no Towns King. Look at the, the, the D is in the background. They are going nuts. It's too early for this. It's too early. Where are they getting this energy from? I Get heard that song move. before. They were trying to do that remix that, you know, somebody's getting. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. D Towns King. These all caps. All caps. Yeah. Forward. All caps. I mean, you, you, there's never a time with slower case. Anyway. <laughs> Back at it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's bright and early weather. Uh, you're here in Orlando, or you're back home on the West Coast. Back home for us, I should say. True. But around the world, if you're tuning in, thank you for watching. It's the Tekken World Tour. We're here at CEO 2018, Daytona Beach, Florida. Daytona. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's the jam. See, that's why I'm telling you, man. Every time I rock with you, I'm always reminded of how, how cool you are. Just saying, man. Just saying. If I'm so cool, how come you didn't come over and play video games with me yet? Look, dude. You I know, know we, we busy, live, we, we busy. live a busy life. I wouldn't even be home. <laughs> I'd be knocking I on the door you, and nobody would be there. Hey, Mark said he'd be here. He told me to come play video games. Anyways. But yeah, man, CEO 2018 shaping out to be ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the, in the G pools right now. We're in the opening pools, and I know we already have Red Bull Anakin. He's in these pools. The reigning world champion. Uyun Kudans is also here, who also won the latest Master event as well in Poland. That's true. That's Poland. True. <laughs> but now, I feel like it's getting a lot more interesting, right? Because we said before that Jimmy J. Tran is here, right? Now, yeah. we talked about how strong he is, but this, uh, this tournament is not going to be easy for anybody. This is actually a killer's tournament. This is a Master's level event. Bro. I feel like, you know what? I hate to say it, I feel like every event, whether it's Challenger or Master, is going to be filled with killers from now on. People want them points. They would like some points added to their totals. I mean, you're 100. You're 100. 100% 100 correct. Um, I've said this since Tekken 7 had started to tour. Before it was called Tekken World Tour, every Tekken tournament 
has killers in it. There is no, there's no tournament that I've been to. I'm just like, oh man, there's nobody here. There's always Tekken players somewhere. And if there is a tournament like that, sign us up. You hear me? Tekken sign World us Rides. up. We'll fly Especially out. sign me up. Hey, yeah. Let me get my five points, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. So next up, UBN Tunk versus Truth the Nine. Oh, okay. That's not. The PG the Pimp. Oh, yeah, PJ that's actually the pimp. potentially one of our next coming matchups. But yeah, PJ the Pimp versus Lightning Ken. I like the Lightning Ken name. But, but he didn't pick Ken. That, or see, Lightning. See, that only makes sense, man. Yeah, I, I will have Curve to balls. confer later and be like, why are you doing this to us? Anyways, we're going to the Souk, the market stage. Man, this is a rare character. So we have Gigas uh, going up against Elisa. You know, Gigas, one of those characters, you know, a lot of people kind of throw him down the pipe and say, you know, he's not a good character. But I am one of those guys that believe that there are no bad characters in Tekken, just ones that have weird frame data. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I would mean, say. I mean, don't get me wrong. We we see a lot of we've seen a lot of characters in our days. However, I'm 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 especially one of those people to say there are no bad characters. I feel like if a character is played correctly, you'll get the desired results. Oh, yeah. However, the ceiling for Tekken competition is not the the smallest ceiling. I oh, can tell yeah. you that to be honest, yo. My dude has combos. Okay, here we go. And see, that's the thing. As long as you have a mid, as long as you have a low, you gotta mix up. Let's go. Dead. Boom. K.O. I definitely was just playing somebody. Oh, I was playing Sonkin. He played me with Gigas. Ah, uh -huh. he seems like a Gigas kind of player. Yeah. I feel like he can get away with some gimmicks, especially with this big character, man. And he's more scary than anything. He's just a big hulking character. I mean, I guess not to Alyssa, though, because you really don't care. A lot of it is like, you know, you would think, you know, usually the lower tier characters, they are not often used in tournament play. So more often than not, these guys don't have experience against these kind of characters, mm -hmm. unless they have, you know, like a specialist oh. friend that Kind of uses them. Oh, and the standing. No, he goes for the reset opportunity there. He could have comboed it there with the standing four. Oh, Yo, did you see that? The, the mini slow mo right let's, there. Let's let's slow mo, but let me let me uh, wipe your knee real quick. The shoe shine. Mm -hmm. okay. Not gonna do too much damage here, but instead going for that option for the combo. Oh. One of the interesting things you'll probably see that at Gigas here. Once he gets screw state, you're gonna see him go for this ground and pound kind of three hit mm -hmm. move, and it's a natural combo when it hits on the ground, but it's unskilled for the last hit. So and that's why it's usually a good option, but we really haven't seen it yet here from PJ the Pimp. Yeah, a lot of people they don't uh, they see it and they're like, yo. That move's not that good, but once it hits you on the ground, since it oh, is NC, and see, oh. see, that's the thing. There's no mix-up from that. It's always high. Look at the wall. But people Look getting hit. Damage. Oh my god! See, that's the thing. The two low-tier characters can hurt you so much. Mm -hmm. Lucky Chloe and Gigas, they have like easy 50% combos. Oh yeah, like I can tell you right now, Lucky Chloe. I've said it a lot. She has some of the highest normal hit and counter hit damage output in yeah. the game. Yeah. Same thing goes for Gigas, but it's a lot harder to get those hits with Gigas because. He has those kind of stubby limbs. Um, he doesn't have a crazy far-reaching moves, but his rage drive, oh my god, oh, yeah. so scary. It's 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 that situation, you know, where uh, all their high damage combos come from a move that you're gonna have to learn how to deal with. If you don't know how to deal with Lucky Chloe's California roll, you're done. You're body. Yeah. If you don't know how to deal with Gig's forward forward four, his 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 lunging kick into the big launch, you're done too. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that I I think. While they are, you know, they might not be the strongest in the game, you still have to learn how to fight against those moves. If you don't, they are pro they, they might as well be the best in the game. If right. you get hit by that combo, you're done. Because a lot of people freak out. They're like, yeah, hit me with this 4 4 4. Oh, no, oh bro. my Take God. The round. I'm going to get up. You know what? Take the round. S stage ah. select. Come on, guys. They should know better. Come on, man. Tekken World Tour. You know what? I'm going to pull out the guidebook. We have the rule book. It's actually printed out this time. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to uh -oh. go on the stage and slap him up with it, do the Phoenix right thing. <laughs> Oh. Objection! Just hit him in the face. But da -da. All right, we gotta let this uh, this character kill go down. But yeah, when we talk about like the lesser used characters, I mean, we saw like we've seen bears in tournaments before. We've seen quite a few characters that people don't normally get to see. And if you get these players that aren't familiar with them, they get destroyed by them. And then like, why do people say this character is bad? You yeah, know? it's crazy because like you, we see so much variety. I mean, like I said, we see all the characters. We see. Jaguars and Tiger Jacksons and Bears, oh my. <laughs> it's crazy. We see the variety. Anyways, we are going to get into it now. So we are going to go to the stage select. Okay. And you know, stage select has been acting kind of crazy lately. I don't know if you watched the match from yeah, Poland, but uh, we got that that Arctic Snowfall stage like five times in mm -hmm, a row. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've had nightmares. I've been dreaming about Arctic Snowfall at least five nights in a row. I hope it doesn't happen. Again. Oh my God! You did it. You did that. Commentator's curse. You called it. Dang. All right, production team, take five. We're out. There's uh, there's a ghost in the building. That's definitely uh, you just did this. Oh <laughs> my gosh, 
You know what? I'm kind of freaked out, Steve. Why would you say that? You should have just yeah, not said anything. Did I start it off at the wrong you time? definitely said, like, oh. yeah, man, we've been getting this Arctic snowfall. I've been it's, it's just cool because we're not going to get it two times in a row. Don't. What are you hey, doing? We're not. We're not. You know what? We have Michael Murray here. He's going to defend us. He's going to press the button, make sure it doesn't oh, happen again. Man. Oh, oh, dude, you can't do that. The minute you say it's not going to happen, chances are it's probably going to happen. All right, Arctic Snowfall. Now, this stage is a, a little better for Alyssa because I can tell you right now, Gigas gets a pretty good wall carry, and the damage is way too good. But he's going to get damage no matter what. Okay, gets the follow-up here with the 4-4. He went for the extra hit there, not able to get it, but that running one is something that, uh, you know, if a player doesn't know how to deal with that running attack, it can open up a lot of things for Gigas. It's definitely one of his, uh, his better tools. Along with what down uh, down one, a uh, down two the, yeah, down the two, launcher. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's actually a pretty decent move. Obviously, it is punchable, but it is a mid launcher. It's not like a you know a generic down four two that has to hit standing. We don't get those a lot anymore in Tekken, man. Where you just get that there it is that down two. Okay, opting for the carry here. Here's the Oki. What's he gonna go for? Down four one, and that's the thing with that's great about Gigas. He has range. He has range on his throws and his, his, his simple pokes. Oh, his down forward one, his standing jab. <gasps> he went for the side step two. Unable to get it. Gets the punch here with the wild standing one and the low kick. Okay, all right. And hey, look at that. PJ the pimp. Yo, he's looking pretty good with Gigas. Pimping. Pimping pimpin 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 ain't pimpin. easy. Uh -uh. Okay, side step attack again. This time getting punished for it. Not safe. It's minus what, 10? Uh, it's, I know it's jab punishable. Okay. I want to say it's between 10 and 12. But if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone on the internet will say so. Mm -hmm. So just read in the chat. Very good. All right, all right. Hey. You gotta use your chat powers for good. Just tell us if we're wrong, okay? Oh, yeah. And speak up so we can ban you. <laughs> Anyways, back into the matchup here again. Playing a little bit compact here, using the jabs, the 4 2. Yo, Lightning King actually trying to make something happen right now. Not swinging as much in the middle of strings. And we talked about not knowing the matchup. See, right there, a lot of people get bodied by that. They, yeah. try to, they try to swing in between, and that's actually a high crush. Now, Lightning King making some changes. I like this. He has to. And I th also think he needs to start taking some risk here. I mean, he's not going to really outpoke something that he doesn't know how to fight against. Oh, man, he's just getting worked right now. There's that big throw again. He hasn't broken it yet, and it does so much damage. That's a big boy throw, man. Yeah, oh. running. Now what? How are you going to deal with it? Oh, he went for the sidestep attack once again. But in the red here, has access to Rage Jarp. Ah, never mind. Done and done. PJ the pimp moves on. Yeah, see, but that's what we were talking. We were already talking about how much character variety we get. Yeah. This is no different. We have already seen a Gigas here today. Will we see it again? Who knows? However, we know we got one. Yeah, we got one on this board. Mark it off on your bingo cards. Uh-oh. Okay. So we have Unbroken Tongue coming up against Truth the Nine. That's going to be our next matchup here on our stage. I saw uh, Tunk outside talking to... Uh, Talking to NYC Fab. Okay. Oh, Fab's here. Yes. And NYC I saw him talking Dan. to Trungi. <gasps> so we got some killers here. I know Spiro is here as well. Yeah. Spiro the hero. He's here. Speed Kicks oh, yeah. also here. Um, who else is here? I was just talking to him, but we already said Anakin is also here. Poke chops here. Poke we see him right now. Yeah. Me mugging for no reason. I know. Don't cross that for line. For no reason. This dude, it's, this dude is a habitual line step, but he's doing it right now. He's dancing in front of the line, in front of us. This dude is dangerous. And uh, I just saw this man. He just pointed at you, Steve. He didn't point at me. That's the. That's he didn't point at me. He knows better. I'll bite his finger. Pink Diamond sitting in the front, who just recently started entering more tech and turns. I noticed, yeah. Um, but that's we talked about the growth, man. It's yeah. It's, more and more people are coming into it, you know. I, I just don't know how this is happening. It's, it's a good feeling. You know, this doesn't usually happen for our game. I mean, I think it's for almost any game, if you think about it. Yeah. I, I feel like Tekken is that, that example of a game that's What's he got on his phone? What's he listening You're to? You're out. I don't know, man. Is that the new Drake? Have you heard this new Drake? Can we talk there's about a, this? There's a lot of tracks. I, I, just, I started going through them. I went through, like, the first half. Mm. It's A and B side. They had, like, a, it's a two-side two yeah, 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 yeah. album. It's... Yeah. it's Eh. It's, I'm still listening to it. All right, let me know what you think. I've, I, I've given it I think two I was more playthroughs. I was more hype of, off the track uh, names <laughs> than oh, anything. Yeah. That's true. That's actually true. He has a song on there called Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was like, oh, snap. Kind of got me hyped. Anyway. You would. You like zippers and stuff. I'm just Face saying, mask dude. with zippers, too. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, he's here, too. Yeah. Princess Ling is also here. Princess Ling is here. The UIU boys, not only Kudans, John Ding, the newly sponsored Dimeback. 
in oh, the building. Yeah. Yo, they have baseball jerseys. They what? don't have regular jerseys. They have stitched baseball jerseys. And I saw it, and I was like, damn, I actually want one now. I love Dimeback. Yo, I Dimeback, hate Oscar, but I love Dimeback. Dude, Dimeback is a killer, bro. Like, I don't even, like, I tell people, I was actually, when we were in Australia uh, for BAM, they were like, yo, man, what's up with this guy? I'm like, look, don't get body. Because yeah. uh, Dimeback is actually He ended up beating a uh, Nobi, right, in yep. that tournament. We were like, I didn't think he would do that. I would have I won so much money if I bet it. I Give me odds. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. We got Tuck. And Tuck using Eddie Godot. Oh, oh, but the Tandy early drop. Missed it. It's too early, man. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's definitely too early because that is not a one. I can't believe he landed that. Just out of range there to get the back three follow-up. But, man, that was pretty crazy. Oh, wow. This dude is getting hit with all the handstand tactics right now. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, all the combos not working. Wow. He is going in. It's too Slip early for this guy. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, Tom, looking too awake right now. Speaking of which, our next match, Pink Diamond versus Polk Chop Ooh, coming up next. Wee. This might be a mirror match, actually. That, oh, yeah, Yosei versus Yossi. Anyways, here we go down two, three, follow-up here. Ghost doesn't get the follow-up at the wall. Right, doesn't matter. Leg breaker. Okay, running power bomb. Here's the Oki, what's going to go? Oh, no, decided to back up. One of the things you got to always be wary of, even though King has amazing Oki after that, a quick spring kick will usually beat out most options. Mm -hmm. All right. Rolling Sobot, follow up here. Wow, the evasiveness. Woozy Zhao Yu. He tried to hit this dude with the grease. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh oh back 12. Wow. Got straight up. That's what happens. Yeah, you got to be careful. That's a guaranteed uh, trap right there if you do the quarter circle forward three. Again, with the Rolling Sobot, which is a great move. Safe. Tracks, crushes lows. Ooh, helicopter. Getting real close to this wall right now. Nice. And I feel like Tunk's just ch uh, checking like truth and nine right now. Just to see what he's able to deal with. Because this is definitely not an easy matchup for the boy King. You got to be ready. I'm so hyped to watch King after the wrestling show yesterday. I know, right? Uh, do some moves. Put him into the body bag. We saw like, Start a throwing King's him. bridge yesterday. Somebody yeah. actually did the bridge yesterday. Oh, like, my sick. God. Yeah, Liger. Mm. That was beautiful. What was he asking for? Uh-oh. You won the round. What you need tips for? Well, and he over here having a good time, man. Come on, bro. So you probably noticed I did not speak a word of the Azure stage. I'm trying to stay away from there it. There you go. We got to think positive, OK? Yeah. But we got one that we do like. Yeah. So one of the things I did when I was talking with Murs, right? Yeah. He's uh he understands. Yeah. Cause he's a he's a guy. He understands the musical composition parts of songs. Oh yeah. So one of the things I was telling him was about this stage. I was like, these these songs have actual progression and they go along with the stage. Yeah. So he legit was like, all right, turn the music up, and he did like the full headphones. Like, yo, this is actually God. Like, he understands how godlike the music is in tech. Man, that hurt. <laughs> that did hurt, but man, I'm glad he did. And you know, if you guys aren't familiar, oh my God, is this gonna be a comeback? Nah. He is he working? No, he might. He, he might. might. Actually, this is crazy. These are the two characters I use. Oh, this yeah, is this like is this is like an internal bat. Uh, kicked out of, get out of here. This is Mark Man versus race Mark drive. Man. And, oh my God. Oh, that was actually really good. Okay. He could do it like four or three just to make, like, make him stay. Uh, yep. Keep them like stabilize them and get a full combo, combo right there. And you got to be careful, man. I would have four three them instantly. Right, here's the follow up here. Down two three. Yes, gets it. And the guaranteed follow up. Ah, oh, nice. Capital. Capital punishment follow up here. And the reverse break kick going the other way. Oh, oh. I, that could have that been a lot worse. It could have been way worse. And I think Truth the Nine is going in a little too hard because he is getting hit by everything. Yeah. And Tunk kind of smells it. He's like, yeah, this dude's like hitting buttons, so I'm going to yeah. take my time. That's when Eddie becomes really dangerous, when they feel they have the liberty to use an employee. Relax mix-ups. Because usually, you know, most players kind of sniff that out and they're able to eliminate the mix-up, right? Mm -hmm. But Tunk is going in. He is pretty much doing it at will when he needs to. <gasps> Yo, he just I can't believe he would. Oh, my God. He said, I knew you were going to press a button, Yo, so I'm going to do it. Your punishment is actually working out for relax. I never thought about that, but he's so far away, so I can see why it's hitting. Yeah, because it jumps over most options as well. Uh oh, got him. Didn't confirm Whoa. there. Oh, oh that's going to hit. Yup, and the rage on Tunk. Dancing one, in the water. Ooh. One, 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 one round away. Bah. Hey, DJ, turn my headphones up. Turn my headphones up. Let me hear this beat right here. <laughs> OK, oh, the okay. knee. 4-3, easier combo. Oh, man. 
Oh. Go into the crouch throw, the big close look line. At the, look at the damage that took off. Just with a little, a little mini reset into a crouch throw that worked. Another thing is that, like, since Eddie is always, like, on the ground and going in and out of relax, doing crouch throws is actually a pretty good strategy. Oh, the drum roll, please. Oh, yeah, that's an unbreakable throw. You got to be aware of that there from the handstand position. Follow up here, goes to the Sobot again. A slipper. Oh, my God, that could have beat it normally. But the extended hitbox there of the sidestep low attack was able to beat it out. And Tunk, Yo, that moving four, on. Four. Four, four he got rocked. sucks up close. Like, like it's it too has easy. to be a like moment of impact. Like, like boom. You got to do it like that. But man, uh oh, here we go. Now, pink diamond. I'll put the yellow from each other. a lot of different games. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Dang, did you see how he's doing? <laughs> Why are you looking at us like that? He knows who's watching. You know what? He know. You, you know who's watching? Blackbeard is watching. Blackbeard is. Oh. Uh, I, I wish he was here again to pop off again. Yo, Blackbeard was popping off. But see, that's crazy. cool because you know what? I'm no longer looking for just to domestic and local matches. I want to see these international, these international matches, man. And it's like now, like, I feel like this is the first time, right? I feel like this is the first time in Tekken history where we have these inter these like multiple international like rivalries that yeah. are being built. Now, I think that is so cool. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you haven't been paying too much attention to the Tekken scene and how tournaments go, it is no longer free for the international players. Oh, it's no. no longer like you think about it. One of the, the, the scariest players out there, one of the ones that most players fear, even the best players, JDCR, he didn't even make top eight. Mm -hmm. He didn't even make, he got bodied by an American player in <laughs> easy fashion. JDCR, I know you can understand what I'm saying. I hope you come back strong. You know he is. It's JDCR, man. This yeah, dude is but actually... what if he's done? What if he never? What if he's never the same? What if someone picks Paul and he just melts in the chair? Oh my God. What happens? Maybe in America he can't deal with it anymore. I think it's a. I think it's. It says a lot though, because. For years on top of years, like, I know you have and I have. We've been watching, like, these international players, like, from everywhere. Yeah. And now we're just now getting to the point to see these guys play American or other international comp. And it's not as easy as they thought, thought it would be. On top yeah. of that, we've heard the conversation many a times from international players speaking about the, the state of American tech. Oh, yeah. And a lot of those guys say, like, if they got the game at the same time, it'd be a lot different. And now here you are on the Tekken World Tour where traveling is a consistent thing where you have to to compete for these points. And now you're starting to see that gap get People smaller People are doing their smaller. homework. And uh, we mentioned before, you know, the cream players, they are often held on a, on a higher level or on a pedestal. But the thing is, there's so much data out there. So many people have been able to watch and study their play styles. And them being at these events, more and more people are getting used to them. So uh, it's it's not a good formula for them. Yeah, they, they'll probably get used to American players, but there's way more American players here than not. Oh man, this, this should be good. Yeah, I told you. You caught it, you I called, called it. it. Yeah, because I know Ping Diamond, uh, she's been playing a lot of Josie. Okay. And she's been, because she's on my Facebook friend list. Yep. Like she legit like, yo, who wants to play Tekken? I'm like, dang. You it's know? like that. See, that's the thing. I like the hunger for being able to improve in the game. Anyways, we're gonna go right into the matchup. Violet Systems. I actually really like this stage. All right, so Pink Diamond Ooh, with the kick. blue Josie hey, and hey, Pokeshop. got the hop kick, but drop the combo. Yeah, that's the thing too. Is like you need to know. Oh my gosh, uh -oh. a down four two. Follow up here. Should be able to push towards the wall. Then Rocket knees. Get off of me. Double breaker. Not able to get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes Pokechop. Pokechop coming back. If Pokechop starts swaying, you know it's over. Yeah, he gets that old man rock like he's telling a story. Kids, let me tell you about Granddad Porkchop. Uh oh. Oh no, that was too. That was, that was too telegraphed. Oh. Under and the, yo, the stutter with the down four. Now that's some out of game technique. We don't see like the fake out fast stutters to get somebody to get that's, opened that's up. That's some NRS stuff. That's some <laughs> KI stuff. What's going on here? Uh oh. Low parry. Uh oh. The follow up. Here the we go. Gets the knees. Yo, oh, the hop kick to challenge the running slash kick? Yo, just sidestep the low like that? What is happening? Oh, yeah. I'm just Josie it. things? Is like, that what happens? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Oh, no, didn't get the follow up. Could have got the uh, standing. Oh, two. great. Oh, but didn't get the punish. And Josie always able to get wall setting 2 1 off of most of the, the other lows here, other than down four from Josie. So you, you get a combo. They got to be aware of that. Maybe it's the jitter. Oh, the butterfly edge started off. Ooh. Trade blows again. Do it one more time. Here comes Pokechop. Pokechop is stalking right now. It's already the sidestep here in the matchup. Uh-oh, calling out that, that 2D round. Yeah, the Pink Diamond again went for the, the tracking move there. There's the, the combo that I was talking about. That was adding 2-1. Follow-up, double knees, bazookas. All right. 
Round three in favor of pork chop. Two Again, one. starting off much like the last round here. Gets the counter in second hit, the follow up. Got caught oh. swinging, but that's a drop hop kick. You got to hit up for it, man. You can't do that. Yeah, maybe he was hoping for, you know, just a neutral hop kick to kind of get counter hit, but you got to make those commitments, right? Go in all the way. Okay, wall standing forward to interrupt here. Gets the wall here, might be able to close it out. One mix up can do it. Oh, the big mid to take it. All right, uh -oh, oh. he's rocking. Uh oh, he's rocking. <laughs> this dude, man. Get this man a sponsor. I don't want to see him in Turners, but still, get this man a sponsor. This rock can be driving me crazy. Right, nah, but Pork right. Chop's actually ridiculous, though. Dude's a really good player. Or does he have a character switch? Is, uh, uh, is there another character in the optional? No, look, oh, the, the decisive. <gasps> yeah, she plays Master Raven, too. Only a true master. Actually, that's true. Man, Master Raven is no slouch when it comes to being able to play at a high level. Master Raven. All right, here we go. And now you see a... Uh, Pork chop tighten up. Yeah, he's doing his morning hot yoga, you know what I'm saying? Pink Diamond did take that first round. Yeah, you know, the thing is, Josie, I feel like in that matchup earlier, she had all the right reads. She hit those down for two, she hit the hop kick. What does Master Raven have? Master Raven doesn't really have anything like that. You gotta hope, man, I'm gonna throw out the wall standing one, I'm gonna throw out, hopefully get a counter hit move. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is a, you know, I know, like I said before, this wasn't one of the other characters I forgot that she really was into. So I want to see what she has. We'll find out. But the great thing about Master Raven, we know if Master Raven gets a launch, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt hard. Fishing for that magic fool. Okay. I'm looking in the crowd to see who else we have here. The, these opening pools, I see Rip in the crowd. I also see Pokemon. Pokemon, another one of those characters who's been hunting for that tournament victory. Oh, yeah. He's a, we keep talking about him. Uh, me and Rip actually said, like, he's on the hunt to get that big American victory under his belt. I mean, especially considering, you know, we see Kakoma at so many different events. Yeah. Yo, first round again to Pink Diamond. Wow. And she has a little more control of this Master Raven, just being, like, picking and choosing her spots. Yeah, I feel like more of a defensive mindset Ugh. as well. It seems to be have working out here in the matchup. You know, a lot of those limbs able to beat up Pokemon. But, man, we are going low. Get low. Oh. Okay, now pressure at the wall here. This is somewhere where he does not want to be because if Master Raven gets a launch, there it goes for the Sandstorm, the follow-up. Okay, we got Punish. Oh, oh get out wow. of here. Just got clipped out of the, <laughs> right out of the Rage Drive, though. Okay, doesn't he, get it. No Punish. He started off a few of those rounds with Butterfly Edge. Yeah. Oh, big low again. Ducks under. Pink Diamond knows that string. Oh, oh. doesn't get the follow-up. Went for the break and not able to get it, but now going the other way. Oh, back turn combo? I thought I definitely thought that was gonna be a low. Oh, it get the, the what the what? That was sick. That was cool. I'm a fan. Anyways, here going the other way. Oh, gets the counter hit, but doesn't get the follow up with the combo there. Josie does get a combo there from the wall standing three counter hit. Uh oh, oh another counter, counter hit. hit. Yep, here we go. A. But huh? enough to, whoa, interesting. Wanted to go for the wall carry, here oh, we go. Catches the Are you gonna break though? Ah, uh, not gonna do it. Oh, you should do like four towards something. Either way, down for one to take it. Yo, one round away for tying up this game. This is very decisive here. It's either gonna be all tied up or it's gonna go to poke chop and pink time. It might go to losers. Again, quicksand gives for the trap. Another low, the follow up here. And it's interesting. Ooh, oh, face man. surfing. Ah. That could have that came out a lot worse, it's okay. Yep. Oh, Don't nice. Did you see that? String. No, but she drops the combo. Damn, that was it right there. That was the opportunity into the power crush. One more, he could do it. No, no punish. punish. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, well, this is oh. not good. If the wall gets into play, this could be very, very bad. Oh, what the hell was that? Down four. Okay. All he right. don't want to win. He don't want to win. He was rocking for nothing. He don't want to win. But you saw the switch, though. Once uh, Master Raven came on the scene, you already saw Poke Job kind of switch up a little bit. Like, okay, I got to be careful. Okay. G Corp, Helipad, Nighttime. Pink Diamond. Still in games out Diamond here. Diamond is unbreakable. This is definitely a Diamond in the Rough situation right here. Pork Chop is no rookie. Oh, this could be a big she's, win. She's definitely having a good time. She's uh, looking at Pork Chop. He's, he's scared. He's scared. <laughs> you can shook. tell the look on his Don't face right now. Don't get shook. Don't get shook. Oh, he's done. And we're going to the rooftop. So I've, I've already I started the the thing of telling people only the good players let you hear the good part of the song. 
Oh, that's true. That's the breakdown. That's true because yeah, they, they, the only the good players will do it. Uh, here we go. A lot more offensive this time around. Pork chop don't want to get pink diamond in any room to get started. Oh, again. Trying to get okay. in that butterfly. Here's a follow-up here. Okay. Should get the combo. Uh -huh. But what are we doing here? That's the question. Oh. Oh, okay, goes for the mix-up. I thought about to do the grease. I thought it was. I actually thought this combo was about to be. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh, no, it, no. Oh, it gets the break. Oh my gosh! But weird. Went to the other side. Okay. Her rage. Uh. Drive, big, big punch. That was good. Okay. Her rage drive is so good for getting momentum back. It, it covers a lot of distance. It's a free combo. And starter. it's crush as well. Yeah. It's a huge knee. It's like huge and blue. It's like, you know, when the Kool-Aid man breaks through the wall, that's Ooh, what yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. Let me get you that knee. Oh, no. Another draw. Oh, back to all. I, that might have been guaranteed in that situation. Follow up here. What's going to happen? I like the spacing on both ends. Both Again. For Butterfly. It's a nice reaction by Pink Diamond. Another oh, do out. something. Do, okay. Again with the low. Oh, this time oh, I block. Oh, that's actually what you're supposed That was God. Oh, like. man. Yo. Full <laughs> <laughs> okay, I missed the all cap. Yeah, they're yelling right now. Poke chop, lucky he has headsets on right now. Yo, Shout out to Astro Gaming. Uh oh, uh -oh. gets uh -oh. counter hit. Follow up here. Gets the screw. Oh, the wall. Yo, the fake out. Yeah. Did you see the triple twist? Low. Oh, I saw it coming. Okay. I like the delay though. Yeah, able to get the follow up here on the combo. Not going to get something too crazy because the wall not in play. Oh, power crush. Oh, went for a jab. Porkchop needs to tighten this oh, up. Oh, that was so good. This wow. the follow with the vampire knee. The wall, side wall stun though. Never mind. Needs to be careful. Oh, is that going to hit? Never mind. Porkchop, what are you oh, doing? Oh, my God. Drop. Oh, my God. That wasn't the combo position. Oh, my God. Uh oh, set point for Pink Diamond versus Porkchop right now. Diamonds in this is this is way too. Oh my God! Now poke chop, coming back hard. Oh, oh no! Duck she knows. He wow. plays Josie Rizzo. Standing one has the wall oh, as well. Oh, oh, oh my, my God! God. Missed the second hit. Yo, the double. The one. The, oh, here we go. The follow up. What's gonna happen here? The knee. No low. Go oh, for the one oh, again. No, again. Oh, Mix up. What's gonna oh, happen? Oh, it's done. It's, it's done. done. It should That's be done. done. Final, 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 round. final round. round. Let's go. Final round. Yo, in the words of my boy NYK, double. It's crazy right now. Steve is standing up. I'm talking to his crush. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, Pink Diamond with the ducks. Again, knowing the character, I feel like this is in her favor right now. Yeah, this matchup is in her favor. She plays Josie, yeah. so she knows. Bochop needs to stop going for those strings that can be yeah. ducked and punished. He needs to be careful. Tighten it up. Goes for the forward, forward, forward. I like to check with the down oh, forward one after the side step. The mini side steps afterwards. Here we go. They're about even. Who's going to take it? Oh. Now putting it to Rage. Not going to kill. Into the knee. Oh, oh mix up. What's going to happen? Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. Oh, Pink Diamond takes it over Pork Chop. Oh, my God. People are freaking out. She did not pop up. She deserves one. She did not Go pop off. Go crazy. Up. She did not pop off. Pink Diamond get one on the board. That's a big win versus Pork Chop. Man. What? Pink Diamond taking the double. And you can get a W as well. Let me know your favorite Quamba products. Is it the Dragon? Is it the Obsidian? Is it the Crystal? Is it the Drone? Mom, honestly, is the Aegis bag because it's actually God like it's been with me everywhere. I brought that bag with me this time. It's too yeah. good. I'm telling you, I keep my laptop in there and everything. But oh my God. Yo, Pink Diamond claiming the W over Pork Chop. Yo, damn. Yo, damn indeed. But up next. I don't blame him. Mr. All Cap saying he mad. Oh man, they out there squatting on him. They out there squatting on him. Yo, Pink Diamond getting the W. I, you guys can see the crowd in the back. They're happy. They're, they're having a good time here. I mean, it's still early Dang. in the day. Opening pools here. Tekken just starting today, but up next we have Rip. Rip City going up against Heavy Cura. Wow. Wow. So first off, hey, that's your boy. You like your boy in this matchup? Oh yeah, I like my boy. I like. You don't my even boy, know who he's going up against. Don't even matter. Bro. All right, okay, you one of those. You loyal. You I'm loyal, yeah, man. That's the homie, man. Okay. I mean, rips up, but that's my homie. You know what I'm saying? He always gets the benefit of the doubt. You know, yeah. I, I think a lot of people are sleeping on Rip. You know, Rip uh, has had his fair share of wins in the past in tournament play. He's been able to beat some international players here and there. 
uh, I don't think anyone should ever sleep on him. So it's going to be good to see how he's going to do here at this event. Oh, I hope he doesn't find a character he doesn't know. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> that's also a, a bad thing. Oh, he's fighting a Warrong player. Okay, that, you know, I feel like Warrong is not a character, in my honest opinion, until until you find out whether or not the opponent can fight against them. That's true. That's when it changes. That's the, true. the magic completely changes after that. But it's really, it's really easy to get caught. Uh, not knowing a character in some of these instances, because yeah. uh, I mean, he's so. I mean, if you think about it, he's very complex. He has all kinds of stuff going on. No, uh, Warrog is definitely one of the more difficult characters to play in the game, especially if you're not like familiar with how you're supposed to play him. He has a lot of stances, a lot of sidestep moves. All right. Oh, nice. We were just talking about it. Uh, Book from Thailand. He's going to be coming up as well. He's in Pool G1. He's going to be going up against True, I believe. I can't wait to see that. That should be sick. Yo, when I tell you book is actually, you know this, this is one of my favorite Just take players a look. to watch, bro. It's, it's in, in a book. book. Tekken a G World Tour. No, that. Telepath. Man, what a set. Shout out to Gaming Generations. All right, here we go. I right. dare you. Starting it off, Mishima Dojo. Yeah, Rip is definitely one of those players you, uh, if he's in your pool, I guarantee he's going to pop up in your radar. Fastest slide in the world, man. Oh, yeah, that's what she said. Anyways, going right back into Z matchup. Into the dragon throw. That's DSS. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Fake flip. Into the follow-up. Goes for the Sabaki. Oh, power crush. Ooh. Don't do it. I got a crush on you. <laughs> eh? Okay, interesting combo there. Opting for the Oki maybe here. Really good damage, though. But he's back in this game already with I the know. strings. It's just a power crush. That was such a... Oh, my oh, God. Wow, the I... double power crush. No, actually, but that, that's actually a legit strategy. Yeah. We saw it, like, at the beginning stages. Even after, like, you know, the nerfs to Warong, he's still one of those characters you have to hold. Wow. And just like that, you know, he... Okay, never mind. He didn't get the full combo, but you think about it. Now that fear of that power crush being hit... I think Rip is going to probably tighten it up here and not go for any uh, any strings. Uh oh, counter hit. Gets the wall here. DSS follow up with the drag cannon. Oh, oh Harry. All right, now he's not going to get a lot of damage, but he's going to get him away from that wall and great momentum. Yeah, and he went. Oh, my the God. Flip kick. You should have known. You should have known better. <laughs> All right, here we go. 1 1. Rip back into the match. Oh, oh he got the him. fake out. You thought you were slick. You going to block my slide? Okay, follow up here. Drag cannon follow. Oh, look at that. Just a ton of damage. Life. Ooh, Ooh well, let's get flat. some. Ooh. Yo, real. Oh. All right, yeah, he did. That, that was cool if it worked, but, man, that could have been something. Uh-huh. Yo, I'm going to tell you right now, this uh, heavy career guy is ready for the lows. He's definitely ready for lows, but, man, he is uh, throwing in that low period, but he got hit by that wall standing, too. He's going to have to be careful. Oh, what an amazing whip punish there. One of Law's best tools in the game oh, now. Yeah. 14 frame move. mid Hit control. Well, I wouldn't want to say hit confirmable, but you, you can whip punish easily with it. You get a free combo as well. Okay, gets just out of range. Needs to be really careful, man. E. Oh, into the slide. Now, what's he going to push? Has his back to the wall. He's going to have to be careful for the peacekeeper. Wow. And you know when Rip starts doing that, he is feeling this. Oh, oh my God. Just out of range. That's guaranteed natural combo. One, one, oh, three, three. No big punish. Rip has another chance. Ah! Slide. That's free. Oh, I did kill. Oh, the oh, delay! Back oh, oh, my, my God! God. That would have been... I thought he was going to hit him with a back to sun. He knew that was lucky. He knew... The, that's why Rip is laughing. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Warong actually spins all the way out. Like, he turns all the way around to punch you again. Yeah. Man, why is it so early? We got sick-ass matches. <laughs> I know, man. I was hoping to come back during the afternoon pools and, and, and see all these crazy matches, but they're all happening today. Actually, the afternoon pools are going to be crazy because we're going up to top eight. Mm-hmm. Man. Actually, I entered too. I, I forgot when I played. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's over. You in top eight too then. Uh, man, I'm trying, man. Trunk, looks like, Trunky looks like, is in my pool. Man, Trunky, I feel like he's on the cusp. Of, I mean, you, you saw what he did to Kudan's a combo breaker. Yes. Yeah, and, and that, that only lasted a minute or two. There's a, that was free. There was a few, uh, there's a few geese players out there that, you know, mingle in the wild, like Pokemon, if you will. Yeah. They're, uh, they're there. There's shiny not a lot geese. Of them. I'm telling There's you. There's a few shiny he's, he's geese out there. I'm going to tell you right now, Trunky is 100% a shiny geese. You know who else has a rare shiny geese? Yeah, that guy that never travels. Fighting GM. This dude don't travel, but man, that it's, geese. It's, you know, I want to talk about fighting GM real quick, and I don't want to do it in a way that he will find negative because he often takes things in a negative way. Okay. But fighting GM, I think he's one of the most brilliant Tekken minds that we have in our community. Oh, yeah. He is one of the best players for sure. The only problem I have is... Sometimes he'll be like, all right, I'm in there. I'm going to go out there and, and fight people. I'm going to go and show people uh, 
what it's about to be the best geese player. Mm -hmm. And then the next day he'll be like, I'm not going to travel. Yeah. I, I know it's tough. You know, it is tough. It's, it's a huge risk. It's a huge investment to be able to go out there for tournaments. True. But it's not like how it was in Tekken 6, man. This is a different age. That's true. You, that's if, true. if you really want to be able to do this and enjoy it the way you want to, that's why. And, and but don't cry and complain when you're not at these events. And Fighting Jim has definitely been one of those players people have, have been talking about for quite some time. I know yeah. I've been following him since he's been playing Lee, you know, so it's it's I know he's been around you for quite some time. just won Battle Circuit with Lee, too. Yeah, so it's like, think about that. Like, he's definitely one of those He's East Coast, right? He's, he's from New York. Okay, so he's an East Coast I'm player that I feel like he's definitely one of the one of the stronger players in the States, especially considering his legacy to the game. I would love to see him travel more. And you're right, I don't want to talk about it in a negative way, but this is definitely a new world. So, G GM, if you're listening, I GM, hope you come out. listening, start coming out to these tournaments, bro. You were one of the first players out there to help beat the Korean Assault right? on Onslaught, so do it again. I'm trying to see everybody out here. Yeah. I, I want some of my favorite players to be American players. I got a few out there already, but I want more, damn it. And 10% for his managers, me and Steve. Like, hey, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go right that into love. it. Anyway. But yeah, man, now Rip's actually getting control of this matchup a little bit more. It's going to be tougher here. I mean, you know, Heavy Kira would have benefited heavily from having walls, but now Rip has more movement ability able to get out there. But right now, wait a minute. You got to get those combos down. You can't and miss them. Perfect. He, he got the move that time. He hit him with that back. The, the best of the best, the, the day, oh, uh, the, the Tommy Lee. Yup, coach, he's gonna kill him. Tommy, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Tommy my Doe. bro, Lil Ant. My brother loves best of the best. Then you must too, then, <laughs> yeah, if you know all those dude. lines. Paris, my ass. Oh man, I love that movie. I gotta <laughs> what, watch it. What are you counting <laughs> for? <laughs> Damn, see, that's why I rock with Mark. Man. Pop it, pop it, rip, pop it. Okay, you gotta answer back with a perfect thing. Nice. Oh man. oh man, he's definitely gonna do it. He, oh! oh, the down for one perfect. He for tried to perfect. hit him with the, the Jean Claude. Tried oh, to hit him with kick, the, yeah. the spread leg kicks. Oh, that was not counter hit. Did not get a guaranteed launch there. And Rip, knowing this, gets the wall rise into the power to the people. Mm -hmm. And Rip again. Oh my gosh. Nice block. No punish though. Got him with the second hit again. The Frogman into the dragon slide, like you said, fastest, even better when looped. Yeah. Oh what? my gosh. That's such, now, man, this dude, Rip, actually like invented the escape tool of like this backflip always working. He's like, you know what, they get It's crazy too, if you see him play other games with that kick, he does it too. He'll yeah. just throw it out there. Like, he this plays is the, Virtual Fighter and he does the same thing. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna flip kick. I uh, feel like he was a guile main in, in World Warrior or something, <laughs> just throwing out flash kicks. So Anyways, I, Rip, moving on in the bracket. We'll see him, of course, a little bit later on. And he'll also be on commentary. Oh my gosh, we have some great matches coming up. Uh, it's going to be fun. We have, So two international players coming up next. We have your boy right there. Yeah, boy. Shout out to my boy, boy. Book. <laughs> boy, man. Yo, shout out. Hey, man, that game is actually ridiculous. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. I rocks with the war. Book so coming Book up. from Thailand. You know, this guy is, is quite the player, you know. I first saw him, uh, I would say, at the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 World Tournament, where he ended up getting third place overall. And back then, he was like, I think he was like 16 or 17. Yeah, one of these, uh, I, I don't get to, we don't get to see these much, especially in the Tekken world, right? Where we get these young international players that travel out so we can see them in the beginning stages as well. Like you said, he's been around since Tag 2. However, he does not get to travel internationally a lot. So the fact that he's here says so much. Yo, and on top of that, Book is one of my favorite players to watch. Like, dude is just too good. You'll see why. You, you, I guarantee you, you'll see why. Yeah, pretty he, soon. he is by far, I think, the best JIT player out oh, there. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like me right now, a lot of people like, uh, what else is it? Is it a chicorin? Uh, cherry berry mango. Cherry berry mango. There's lots, man. There's actually a lot of that's, cool gym players. There's a there. few. There's a few uh, good gym. You know who's out my there. favorite gym player? I'm listening. Forgotten Kazama. You damn right. You goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. That's why it's Forgotten Kazama. Nobody remembers, but there's always, it's always somebody. All right, True. I want to see what True's about to do. Is he? I thought he was rocking a, a Warriors tank top, but that looks like some kind of heavy metal T-shirt. So I'm not sure. True rocking. True. Eliza, huh? All okay. Right. All right. This should be a good test. I mean, I feel like Book will know this character. He's had some experience in tournament, especially uh, in and around Asia. Yeah, and on top of that, 
I like the fact that we get to see we're getting so much character variety. We've already seen a Master Raven today on yeah. top of a Gigas. That's crazy. I think it'll be That sick. sounds like quite the scene, a Master Raven on top of a Gigas. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's Anyways, a, Mashima Deljo. Oh, with the tubes and everything. Anyways. Yeah, man, I think you, that's you, pretty you, you're, of the, you're, you're, you're from the school of tentacles? <laughs> I've been hanging out with Z too much, man. That's all it is. Tentacle Steve? All right. <laughs> but uh, the character variety is, is something that I'm, I'm really liking about CEO already. First day of Tekken. Yo, Alpha Red Book? Yo, that is sick. That's a sick team name. Alpha Red here. Send in Alpha Red. It's time to read these guys. Put in the book. Dang. Book and Dano. All right. Wow. Okay. Not looking good. Oh, snap. Way to start off your sponsor tournament career here at CEO. But, man. True, you know, he knows he's going up against a good player. He's going to have to bring it, right? Yeah, he's playing pretty safe Ooh, right now. He gets the gets it, gets it. Hey, oh, oh it's not going to work out. Uh, Look at this follow-up. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm so still in that. Goes for a parry right after it. And okay. I will say this about international players. When they do come to the States, they get to play some of these guys that typically, man, he has some crazy setups. They get to play against these different play styles, and it ultimately makes them stronger overall, actually. Yeah, and they, it, it makes them formulate you know, their own style that kind of controls the flow of the match. But one of the things I think is really tough that a lot of people don't consider is players from different regions have different rhythms. Yeah, oh man. Oh, it's crazy, like, you know, the South American players. Dude, the triple wall combo, with the, he did it three times. That, that was the Tekken hit. 4 Arena combo right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> That, that is a very big thing, the the fact that they get to adapt to these new play styles and it ultimately makes them stronger overall when they come out, you see them a little more. Stop the combo short, still didn't work out. Girls have smaller hitboxes in a lot of instances, especially in Tekken games. Oh, hey, look at that. You know, Book starting off a little bit shaky the first two rounds, then just like that, close it out. He's like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Already read this one. Open and close book. And look, and you see this, you know he's a good sponsor. He's like, look, make sure we go to stage select. He's that's what he's done. He's like, look, I know you're new to this. I travel a lot. Go to stage select, yeah. all right? You know what's crazy about Book? Book is just his first level. You know what his, his final level is? We haven't seen his final level yet, but you know what they call it? LeVar Burton. No. no. They call it Death Note. Dang! <laughs> he's another player on Alpha oh, Red. Yeah. Says it Death Note. Alpha Red Death Note here. Yo, my boy, Don't Book tell is bringing that. He's like, look. Whole forward, Violation, so uh, red card, <laughs> did not go to state select. Your book is like, look, just hold forward, bro. I'm t look, yeah. I know, I look, I know you live here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not aware of the rules. Hold forward. Just hold for forward. Just hit him with an unblockable. Somebody go to thank you. See, someone from the production team got up. That's when you know you messed up. He must speak a different language. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> True might not be from the United States. If you can see book. The flag definitely said he was. No, no, no. I obviously. Book knows what's going on. He has to tell True, hey, look, bro, you got to hold down to go to characters. Like, hold look. forward. There you go. Well, now that we're here enjoying this repetitive nature, I got to ask you, Steve. What's up? What are you looking forward to this year? I mean, we're, we're close to the halfway point for the fighting game seasons. It's so first off, I'm going to be 100% honest. OK. Uh, you always are with me. You got to be real, you know? So Ignore the stream. Just talk to me. Combo breaker was the tournament that I was looking forward to okay. the most, right? Yeah. Sign, seal, deliver on every point. It's yes. always it's combo break. Shout out to the Hado. Yo, shout, always shout and out to the, the Hado. Yep. That's my bro, you know? Um, and I will say, after yesterday, man, CEO is has, has definitely raised the bar quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I am a, I'm having a good time here. So on top of that, we still have Evo, which is... I'm not looking forward to because that's just work fest for me. I'm it's pretty crazy. sure it's work fest for you, it too. Is, it is. You know, a lot of people say, I mean, it is the biggest yeah. and baddest, you know, gaming tournament in the world. But the problem with that is is we're, we're like, stuck doing everything. We're stuck doing everything. We're, we're definitely the guys that are in, in the in the thick of things. Especially you, man. You know what? Talking to everybody. You make more business calls than anybody. Well, that's the messed up part. It's like they schedule me for commentary. I'll be like, hey, uh, Hanzo, I can't do my commentary. <laughs> I got <laughs> I, I to meet, Sorry. Bro. Sorry, keep, find, find someone to fill in. But uh, Tekken World Tour in Amsterdam this year, of course, is actually uh, that gets the gold star for what Steve is looking forward to. Nice combo. I can't wait for us all to be oh there. Oh my gosh. It's Amsterdam, so I sick. hope you're ready. I really hope you're ready. Shout out to NKI when he, he told me, he was like, man, before I went to NKI, Japan. NKI, the legend? Yeah, man, he was like, yo, Japan ain't ready. Steve, you ain't ready. And he was right. That's why I love Japan so much. But Amsterdam is now about to be invaded by your boy Steve. That's, that's what's next on the list. The World Tour continues. The Tasty World Tour. It's, it's a different TWT, the Tasty World Tour. 
That's that's cool. You should have your old spin off. I know, right? Oh, sick. Drop right here. Oh, counter hit down back four. Hey, gets the wall here in the follow up, man. Book has him been so much control here. You can't even see his Shinigami in the background. Mm -hmm. e apples going ham. Mm -hmm. To the core. Bottom here. No walls. Counter hit. Uh oh, Double okay. back three. Nice. Gets a good combo there from the counter hit. Follow up here. Oh, wow. How did that hit? Oh, never mind. Everything's hitting now. Maybe you weren't supposed to keep holding forward, man. Come on. Okay. Now low jab. Follow up with the low. We've already switched the stages, man. Oh, and that's it. Book takes it. 2 0 there. Oh, he rocking that new, all oh, that new Horia uh, fighting edge. Yeah, hey. that fighting edge. I love the top panel that, you know, the, the, the brushed metal on it and the Falcon buttons. I love those those buttons. Those buttons are OD. I'm a, I'm a fan. I've always been a fan of uh, Hori because they're one of the, the arcade sticks that has has the uh, the bigger flat base. And, you know, I got big hands. So oh, what else do you – never mind. <laughs> we are going to take a quick break. We have some more Tekken action coming up. Uh, I think the next matchup we have is Kudan, so I hope you guys stay tuned. Be back.